is Antonio Diaz with your program of Mestizo Experience. And I normally uh, speak on uh, global as well as national and, and, and uh, state and uh, local issues. I, I, I want to bring in, interject a subject that we uh, addressed to the state, uh, state Board of Education this past year, beginning this past, which was last year, uh, starting in, uh, in January and it wound up ending up in, in May. And some of the curriculum changes that are proposed, you know, are actually now finalized. But our state uh, legislature that meets this month of January has the opportunity not to fund, right, not to give the money uh, to the proposed changes by the State uh, Board of Education, Texas. And, and we need to be aware of that, and we need to bring it up to all our, our, our representatives in, in, in our uh, Texas legislature. Le estoy diciendo que uh, la, el, el Estado, la, 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 la mesa directiva del, del, del Estado de, de, sobre de, o, de educación uh, ha propuesto unos cambios este año que empezó el, 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 el uh, enero pasado, en 2010, y terminó en mayo. Y esos cambios van a hacer mucho daño sobre la educación de nuestros niños. Pero todavía se puede parar todo esto. Eso es si nos, los representantes aquí en Texas, porque todavía tienen que pagar por esos cambios. Y hay un comité eh, en la legislación que va a aprobar o no va a aprobar el dinero para los cambios estos, para los libros. Y nosotros estamos... Este, pidiendo que le llamen ustedes a todos sus este, representantes en cualquier distrito que vivan aquí. Pues mi programa es local, pero yo he escuchado que se ve más lejos que aquí nomás en San Antonio. So, lo que yo les digo a ustedes, en sus distritos, hablen con sus representantes, sus congresistas, sus senadores, y les demanden que no paguen para hacer estos cambios. Aunque... Se me hace que puedan hacer todavía los cambios porque no se eligieron más republicanos. Más republicanos uh, conservatistas que son los que están empujando este, uh, estos cambios en el currículo del, de las escuelas, en los, los libros. Y le voy a decir ciertas cosas de por qué no, no se deben de cambiar. Uh, como la palabra esclavitud ya no se va a usar esclavitud. No. Ahora es una tri triangulación de este negocio, como le quieren poner ellos. No quieren ellos este, que se use la palabra esclavitud ya. Solo que nuestros niños no van a aprender que la esclavitud de la gente negra existió aquí en Texas. I, I've been, you know, this program is bilingual. So you don't understand when I'm speaking in Spanish, you can understand when I'm speaking in English. As I said, I speak uh, the two languages of uh, uh, the occupiers, the military occupiers of our continent. And English and Spanish are the languages. I'm a native person, indigenous to this land. But we take on issues affecting uh, humanity of all people. And slavery was in the Constitution of the United States. It was allowed by the Constitution of the United States to own people, as long as they were not white people, as long as they were not Christian people. But it was okay to own uh, black people or Native American people. And uh, Texas, the State, Board of, uh, the State Board of Education of Texas wants to make changes. It, it has made changes, but those changes need to be paid for. And the, uh, our, our legislation meets this month of January. And this where the, these projects will be brought up and either approved or disapproved, such as the, the budget and for, for the State Board of Education and, and these changes in the social studies curriculum, the textbooks. And one of the words I want to take out is slavery. And they don't like the word slavery. And now it's going to be some triangulation of, uh, uh, of business affairs. That's what our kids will learn in 
in their social studies classes. The word slavery will not appear anymore. As you see, uh, the conservative state board members, the Christian right wing state board members, formed a block and they became the majority and they passed these uh, changes to the textbooks and the curriculum. So they continue. See, when, when, when this used to be a part of Mexico, which was Coahuila, Texas, and Mexico was uh, a new republic because it had just won its freedom from Spain in 1820-21. You had a big influx of white people, Anglos, and they came with their slaves. But they had to uh, follow and obey immigration rules of the Republic of Mexico, the new republic. And one of them was Mexico did not uh, abide with slavery. So they wanted the new immigrants to give up slavery, not to bring in slaves. And that's what the revolution uh, of Texas, the rebellion, to form the Texas Republic was about. It was to maintain slavery. Nothing else, no freedom, no nothing, to maintain slavery for greed. Because uh, those plantation owners were used to doing it in the South already, Mississippi Delta and all that, and they wanted to bring it over here being that Texas had a lot, of, a lot of land. And so all they had to do was lie and cheat on their immigration rules with the Mexican government. And they continued to bring in slaves. And when they became larger in number, you know, you had the, the, the rebellion. And it's the same thing now. What they're doing is they took over the state school board by having a, a white conservative membership be the majority that wants to make these changes so that our kids don't learn that, that that is what Texas was founded on, was greed and slavery. So uh, they want to take out that word. They want to take out imperialism. And they want to change it to expansionism or something. And they want to take out uh, cap, uh, capitalism. They don't like that either. you know. But these, th these are all words associated with the greed that drove the white people here to basically do anarchy against uh, the Mexican Republic so that they could continue with their uh, ugly, ugly business of slavery, which is owning other people. And they, uh, one thing might not be known is that the capital uh, named after Stephen F. Austin, which uh, his father was Moses Austin, and along with the Mills brothers and the Austin family, they were the largest slave owners in Texas, right there where the Colorado and the Brazoria River are, the Brazoria, that's, that's, that's where Austin is now. And in that area was the largest uh, plantations for slave, slave ownership. And, and Stephen F. Austin inherited that from his father, Moses Austin, uh, I don't think people, people of color or other people, I don't even know if Anglo people understand the depth uh, of the greed that pushed immigration, white immigration into Texas that was Mexican soil. The depth of slavery, that is what it was. It was the, the, the impetus was to have a slave nation, a slave nation. Uh, Texas became a republic before it actually was incorporated as a state with the United States. And it's still, the United States was a slave nation itself. That was, that was a whole drive. So when, 